talking about Funhouse this time. Funhouse, definitely one of my favorite, favorite machines in the collection. I mean, how can you just not enjoy this game? I mean, look at this guy. <laughs> this machine is, uh, it, it's a, uh, well, some people like it, some people hate it. When they come over, some people are freaked out by it, but yeah, it's got a dummy, Rudy. He's uh, on the play field and he watches you and he yells at you and talks to you and taunts you and uh, it's a super, super fun game. And um, yeah, this was the third machine I bought. Um, so this is um, around the end of 2018. You know, I've been looking around for a fun house um, because I, I really found pretty quick that I, I kind of gravitated towards the Pat Lawler designs. I definitely think that Pat Lawler is my favorite uh, pinball designer. And I have three of his machines sitting side by side here. Uh, Roadshow along with uh, Twilight Zone, which I'll, I'll talk about at a later date. But um, I did find this up uh, fun house and it was a fellow collector and uh, he was selling a couple machines and, uh, and you know, um, moving some pins through his collection. And uh, so I did find this. And um, the great thing about this uh, fun house was, is that it had a replacement play field, um, a reproduction play field already installed in the machine uh, that had been clear coated. So um, the play field is in super shape. Uh, there's, there's really no damage to it at all. Um, there's a little bit of wear around, uh, around the, the kick out here. The cabinet itself, uh, you know, it's got some dings and some bumps and scratches here and there. The, the side art is a bit faded here. This is, uh, you know, back when I was talking about high speed and pinbot the other day, these were stencil graphics that were, that were painted on. Um, as we get into Funhouse, this is four years later, 1990, they were now using vinyl graphics. So uh, these vinyl graphics are faded. You know, the, the Funhouse here is supposed to be red. Um, but with my pin sitting in a, in, a, in a lineup like this, you really don't see the side art. And you can buy replacement um, side art for these. And you can actually re-graphic the whole machine if you, uh, if you really want to do that. So, yeah, that's a possibility at a later date. But... Um, yeah, Funhouse, when I bought it, it was in uh, good shape. Um, there were just one little mechanical issue um, that I remember when I bought it. It had an issue with the sound. And um, the problem was, is when you would turn the game on, it would make this horrendous, horrendous screeching sound. And I'll, uh, I'll let you listen to that right now, and you'll hear what it, what it did. Yeah, so I definitely could not have that in my collection making that noise like that. So I had to uh, find a solution, and I did find a thread on Pinside. Pinside's a, a pretty big form, one of the largest pinball forms in the world, I guess, um, that talked about some uh, some other uh, similar games from Williams that exhibited that, uh, that behavior and then identified a, a possible solution. And when we, uh, I'll show you that here. It's in the back box. Okay, we've got the uh, back glass pulled out of uh, Funhouse here, and Funhouse has this uh, two uh, two panel um, back box here. This little panel will fold down here, and then get up here into the uh, into the back box itself. Yeah, Funhouse has been fairly reliable for me. I have had uh, some issues. Well, I'll, I'll be honest. Funhouse has not been the most reliable game. I don't know. I I call it the curse of Rudy sometimes. I've had um, you know numerous sound issues with this game, um, and every time I think I have it figured out, something else happens. Um, you heard that little um, feedback that I get um, when the game is first powered on, and this is the modification up here. Um, it doesn't look like much, but basically uh, what it is is it's two relays. Two relays and a capacitor and a diode and some resistors. And what that does is when you first power the game on, um, the cap has to charge up before the relay can close. So that keeps, um, that keeps the contacts for the speakers open while you first power the game on. Um, and then when you power the game off, um, it, it cuts the, uh, it cuts the connection to the speaker before you get that thump. Um, because you um, you get a feedback when you turn the machine off as well. It's much worse when you power it on, and that's what that mod was uh, designed to uh, prevent. Um, but it does uh, it does actually work uh, for both. So, um, what else with Funhouse? 
Um, I had a connector uh, burn up on Funhouse. Um, about a year ago, I noticed that I started to lose the general illumination on one side of the machine. I think it was on the right side. The GI suddenly went out. And when I... Let me turn the machine off here. When I opened up the back box, I was pretty sure I knew what it was going to be. Um, it was the uh, connector here. Okay, this connector uh, was uh, for the general illumination. It was completely burned up. And I did uh, replace it with a brand new connector, and um, and that fixed the problem. I had to solder on a new header onto the board here as well, um, but that fixed the uh, the GI issue. That's all it was. A lot of times with pinball machines, you're going to find that your that your wiring for the general illumination is burned up, and the reason is is that the GI, if if it was incandescent for a long period of time, you know, it not only can damage mylar like we saw on the pinbot over there. Um, and cause it to bubble, but it can also damage your wiring. It can also damage your connector as it goes to the board. And probably uh, three or four of the machines that I have here have had uh, connector issues right here uh, going into the GI. So if you got a machine and it's exhibiting bad behavior with the GI, uh, that's where you want to focus. I think I had a, a transistor fail here at some point, and um, I can't remember what that was. The, um, what else? What else? Yeah, the sound issues, again, have been, uh, uh, they come and go. But actually, knock on wood, um, it's been fairly reliable for the past, I would say, uh, four to five months. I haven't had any issues with Funhouse. Um, I'll uh, raise the, the uh, play field and show you um, the other mechanical issues I did have with it. I've already taken the balls out, so not as to cause any any damage to the playfield as I tilt it up. So what have I done to uh, to Funhouse? Some mechanical issues that I've had since I bought the game. Um, I had uh, some flipper issues, um, and I ended up rebuilding um, the flippers up here, and I actually replaced uh, both of the coils. It looks like I have not done that on the top uh, the top flipper coil here. Still got the original coil installed but um the main flippers have been uh, gone through i had an end of stroke switch issue here that caused one of the coils uh to burn up where the end of stroke switch was not opening properly so um and i've had rudy out a couple times you remove him with these four screws here and then um and then there's a connector where is it it's this connector right here um, which is that this is the coil that pops the ball out of his mouth uh, This is the motor that actually opens his jaw and it works the same way with roadshow This sector gear here you see it's black. I've, I've replaced it with this replacement part and This one works fine. However, I I bought another one from Marco specialties to fix my roadshow because I also had a problem with roadshow and uh, the sector gear is not manufactured properly. The spacing on the teeth allows the uh, this pinion to slip. And I can, I'm looking at this pinion right now and I actually see that there's a broken tooth on this pinion. So um, it's surprising that my funhouse is operating normally. I guess it's still working with one broken tooth, but maybe eventually it's going to fail. So I'll have to look around and see if I can find another pinion gear for that. And that's pretty easy to change. Actually, it's just a screw right here and you swap it out. But you can take the whole head out of the machine. Um, you've got the connectors here to, to disconnect the wiring for his jaw motor. And uh, this is really an incredible design. Um, and I don't know who the electrical um, uh, designer was or, or who devised this mechanism here, but this is really incredible because they get this uh, Rudy's jaw to, to flutter like he when he's snoring and it's all done with this with this motor here in this gearbox it's really incredible so this thing chatters back and forth um reverse i guess reversing direction really quickly in order to to make it look like his jaws you know moving up and down when he's snoring it's really quite a uh, quite ingenious this game is really uh really clean um like i said i did get this from another uh collector and he had a fairly nice uh collection um, this thing does not have any holes drilled in it for lock bars. Um, 
it uh, says one Deutschmark, um, and it does not have coin mix in it. So is it possible that this one was home use only? I mean, it's possible. From the, the look of the uh, insides here, it does not look like the coin box was moved in and out of this thing a whole lot. It's really clean inside here. Uh, the rest of the machine, too. Uh, you don't see a lot of dirty, grimy fingerprints. The bottom of the play field is, uh, is really, really clean. So, um, Funhouse has been fairly reliable. I have had my issues with it, again, with Rudy and then with the flippers. Um, I had um, a light matrix issue or a switch matrix issue. I can't quite remember which um, that I had to sort out. But all in all, it's been a pretty reliable game. And... Um, when people come over, they really, they really gravitate towards it. Um, I think it's my dad's favorite game when he comes to the house. He, he always really liked Fun House, and uh, I did print up these. Uh, I need to do this for the other machines I have. I made up these special uh, cards um, from a design I found. Um, Pinballcards.com. Yeah, found those. So if this gentleman's watching, thank you very much. I love the design. All right, well, uh, I'll go over right quick what the uh, object of the game is with Funhouse, and then uh, and then we'll play a couple games. So the point of Funhouse is you are in Rudy's Funhouse. And um, as the ball travels around and hits targets, um, it moves the clock. And, uh, and it moves, it progresses towards midnight. And in the beginning of the game, Rudy's really fun. He's, uh, you know, he's, he's laughing, he's carrying on, he's saying things to you. But as it gets closer to midnight... Um, it's getting late and now the fun house is, uh, it's going to close. So he starts to get annoyed that you're still running around. And, um, when you get the, when you get the clock to advance to 1130, then, um, he tells you a fun house is about to close and that's your cue to lock the first ball. So right up here next to his head, you got this lane here. You got to shoot to lock your first ball. That'll take it to 1145. And when you shoot the second ball up there and lock the second ball, it goes to midnight. And at midnight, Rudy's going to fall asleep. It's going to get dark, and he starts snoring. His mouth goes wide open, and if you look at his uh, bottom jaw, it'll sit there and flutter. And you saw that on the lower play field, how that's controlled. When that happens, now you have the third ball that gets kicked out in the um, shooter lane. And uh, you shoot it up here, and you're trying to shoot it into his mouth. And if you shoot it into his mouth, you'll wake him up. And then that starts the uh, three-ball multi-ball. Um, the two balls that are up here will, will um, kick out one at a time, and then the ball that's in his mouth, it'll, um, it'll shoot out, and it's pretty funny when it does. So the three-ball multi-ball, you, um, you can really clean up the points if you uh, trap some of the balls on the left flipper, and then you shoot here where it says million and million plus. Um, actually, it's million plus, I believe. Um, if you if you're able to shoot it here, million plus, it'll go into the the trap door, and I believe it progressively builds, or maybe you get a million not million per shot. I can't quite remember. I don't get it very often. This is a classic Pat Lawler design with shooting in between the pop bumpers like this. Most of Pat Lawler's games, or maybe all of them, have this feature where where you're trying to shoot through the pop bumpers. If you do a full plunge, it'll go all the way around behind his head and come out this way. And then you can try to hit it with your flipper here. If you do a softer plunge, you can actually try to land it behind his head where there's a, um, that's the skill shot. It's uh, Rudy's hideout back there. You have the, of course, the shot towards Rudy, the shot over here that goes to the trap door. And this trap door will open at certain points of the game. Um, the shoot up, uh, shot up here into the lock, the shot here that goes into the mystery mirror. You also have, on the left, you have another lane here. Look at this. And you're like, what? Why would I have two shooter routes? Well, what happens is, is that the ball can fall here on the left-hand side. Um, there's, a, um, there's a gate, and this gate will, will prevent the ball. If you were to drain out this left out lane, the ball normally will go down the toilet. But this gate will open like this. And now that ball, instead of going down the toilet, will come down here and sit on this left-hand shooter. And then you can shoot that ball up this ramp. What you're really trying to do is you're trying to drop it in one of these pockets. But if if not if but these have to be lit. If they're not lit, then these are, modes aren't going to do anything for you. Um, that's the basic premise of the game. Rudy is uh, talking to you the whole game, 
And what's neat is if you have four players here playing Funhouse, Rudy has a different name uh, randomly for each player. So as you start to play the game, he might call you uh, Slick, and he calls you Slick through the whole game, uh, which is pretty cool. So enough talk. Let me set up the camera, and we will play some Funhouse. Okay, here we go. Up into the hideout. Nope. A little bit too much. Get the gang wave on this air. Okay, so he's telling us to go play on the steps, so Funhouse Frenzy is lit, so if I go up the steps, there we go, drop the ramp I meant to say, now we're in the steps. So now I can shoot with the left plunger and try to get it to fall into the Funhouse Frenzy. There we go. And what you also have to do is you have to get it into the trap door. But the good thing is that trap door will stay open until I get it. So it's not timed or anything. That trap door will stay open there. And if I ever get it into the trap door, I'll get the Funhouse Frenzy. Let's try it again. Oh, close. Another, another Rudy hit, but not the trap door. Okay, let's try it again. Mm. Lucky there. Okay, so we got the first lock. That was a mistake. I probably should have short plunged. Let's see. Oh, gosh, I let it go. I my eye off the ball for a second and I have no idea what I was looking at. <laughs> okay. Ball two. So let's, um, yeah, let's try to get it into Rudy's hideout. Hmm. Uh, if we can get it into that Funhouse has a really nice ball save. If you if you launch even during the multi ball, if you launch if you get the ball in the uh, shooter lane and you don't hit a target, you drain, gives you the ball back. Um, and you can actually do it again and again and again. It's a really good ball save. Okay, let's post transfer. There in the hideout. Man, we just needed it in his mouth or in the uh, trap door. We still got that trap door sitting open for the um, for the frenzy. Mm, caught the bottom of that flipper. There we go. Back into the lock and boom. Mm -hmm. Got it in the uh, in the trap door, but it didn't give me the uh, the frenzy. It gave me the, um, the, the the mega or the what is that? The million plus, I guess. Oh. 
Well, see if we can get an extra ball. Oh. Okay, now the frenzy is uh, still lit. I need to get it in that uh, trap door. Oh, no. In the trap door. There we go. Okay, so the Funhouse Frenzy is all targets at 50,000. See if we can get it into the pop bumpers or not. Oh, it's green. Well. Okay. This is ball three. Let's see what we got. So we. See if we can get an extra ball here. I really should have been on the other side. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we'll post transfer again and see if we can redeem that extra ball because we do need it. We're on our last ball here. Yep, perfect. Okay, and once we get to 8.9 million, the game actually gives us another extra ball. So. Okay, so we get the multi, the quick multi box right? Okay, man. Uh. <laughs> Rudy. Shoot again. All right, shoot again. So here's our last ball. Unless I can make it the. 8.9 million, which is about 2 million points from now. Mm. Okay, um, when you first start the game, the clock actually starts, I believe it starts at 9 o'clock, and then on subsequent... Um, starts at the clock after you finish the multi-ball it starts earlier and earlier i think i have it set now that it starts at five o'clock so you see we're we're only at 825 so we still have a long way to go um and the mirror is not even remotely close to being finished and that was uh pretty close but there we go okay so we'll get the quick multi-ball and uh let's see if we can redeem some points here we're gonna short plunge to get control and I don't believe he'll shoot out that other ball until I hit a target. So I think I'm gonna shoot for the ramp. Now I'm trying to get it up into the lock shot so I can shoot it at Rudy and get that million. There we go. And no good, no good. Whoa! Okay, we got 8.2. We got 8.35. Let's see if we can get into the. Um, I'm gonna try to get up to the steps. Okay. Well, we can just lock the ball. We're at 11:30 now, and we got the specials lit. Okay. So we're gonna do a short plunge. Try to get control. Get it to the left flipper. Oh! Oh, I think we are. Oh no! We were, we were like 20,000 points short of an extra ball, folks. We get an extra ball at 8.9 million, and I finished the game at 8.867 recently. Yeah. Not tonight, Rudy, not tonight. So yeah, this is Funhouse, man. It's such a great game.
So that's Funhouse. Incredible game and one of the definite favorites of the collection and would be one of the last games to ever leave if things had to go bye-bye. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, go find yourself a Funhouse to play. Take it easy. Ooh.